In this lesson, I'll show you how to determine whether equations represent functions. Now, you probably already know how to determine if a graph represents a function. You use the vertical line test. But what about if you're given just an equation? Remember, an equation is a relationship between the independent variables with the dependent variable. Assuming that y is the dependent variable for all of these, what makes a function is that for every value of x that's inputted into the equation, you'll get exactly one y value. So to test it, we need to solve for y, and from there we'll be able to determine if inputting an x value will give us one output. If that doesn't make sense, let me show you what I mean. Let's start with the first one. This appears to be a linear equation. I'll take 3x over, minus 2y is equal to negative 12 minus 3x, then dividing both sides by negative 2, this term and this term, we end up with y is equal to 6 plus 3 over 2x. Any value that you put into x, you'll get only one y value. Let's look at question b. In question b, we have a quadratic, and y is already solved for you. Any value that you put into x now, you'll get exactly one y value out of it. So this is also a function. Let me show you one more example, and this will definitely solidify your understanding. Let's say I'm solving for y here. I'm going to take that over and take this over. So I have x plus 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 16 is equal to negative y squared. I'll multiply the whole equation by negative 1 just so that I get rid of this leading coefficient of negative 1. So I have negative bracket x plus 3 raised to the power of 2 plus 16 is equal to y squared. Remember, we want to solve for y, so I'll square root both sides to get it isolated. And this gives me y is equal to plus minus negative bracket x plus 3 raised to the power of 2 plus 16. As you can see, because of this square root, if I were to substitute a value in for x, let's say the value is 0, I would get plus minus 0 plus 3 is 3, raised to the power of 2 is 9, negative 9 plus 16. Negative 9 plus 16 is 7. So I have plus minus the square root of 7. Like I said, if I take the square root of 7, I'm going to get a plus minus version. So I'll get two y outputs for a single x input, and that doesn't qualify it as a function. So keep that in mind next time you see an equation. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.